Welcome. We are on one of the latest creations of Arc Linux, already preparing for the release of February. But this is not the topic. The topic is VMware. Officially, we do not at all support VMware. And there's a reason for it, of course. VMware is a, a beautiful tool. You, that's that's uh, that's clear. But it's paid. So normally you get this pop-up saying you are going to have um, to pay for it and you get you need to get the license key, enter the license key and it's going to be uh, working like 14 days or something. So if you don't buy it, if you don't have access to a service where you can get the keys, then you're, you're stuck. So since it's a paid uh, software, we're not going to support it. We're always going to support VirtualBox. VirtualBox just works on Mac, Linux, Windows. Good, right? So this is an unofficial video about virtual uh, VMware. So another virtual machine manager. We're going to install Arch Linux and um, I'm going to show you what kind of things you need to do. I've been playing around with uh, different ISOs, as you can see. And we are going to set it as Linux, other Linux for X or later kernel. There is no Arch Linux or anything like that. That's of course very bad. There are stuff in here that I never heard of, but Arch Linux is not in here. So anyway, we go to this guy, 4.X, we're at 4.20 or later kernel 64 bits. Next, bad name totally bad so you change it because this, this is going to be the folder okay next these days I give it 25 gigabytes and I'm gonna store it in one single file you can do it in multiple files not sure what may reduce performance with very large disk not sure whether uh, you should choose it what's best you decide and then customize hardware let's just finish here close and stop in, in in his tracks power off because there's something I want to do first <coughs> which I could have done prior to this as well this needs to go I've installed Linux Mint but it's still there remove ah, remove from library okay so Arch Linux like in VirtualBox you can edit everything because if you don't you get a very sluggish system very sluggish indeed if you want to experiment with virtual machines, general rule is you should have an awesome computer for it. Meaning, if you are giving the virtual box, virtual machine, whatever uh, software, if you give it not enough memory, not enough processors, etc., you always run a problem. Even people uh, that give 10 gigabytes or something, they always run in pr into trouble. So you need to give the hardware enough enough uh, room for your application or your operating system to run i have 16 gigabytes so why not give eight to one part of our system so the host and the guest eight eight in processors i have just one processor but the processor has more cores why use one core for the virtual machine you'll always get a slugger system now I have eight cores, so four for the host and four for the guest. Virtualization, we can try and see if this helps as well. And we don't want to put too much because otherwise we'll see errors. We'll see if this one thing is going to produce an error when we launch. I'm not going to use everything and learn what else I can maybe add. Display is auto detect graphics memory is unclickable so use host settings for monitor let's just keep the rest as it is and then you have this this CD that's going to get this ISO to boot from so main things were four processors that's gonna make a hell of a difference and the memory half of it jumping from one to eight sure that will be have a lot and a big impact so start up this ghost we can click this here away or click it here away so both of them as this button here and then we can maybe make it bigger already but i'm gonna wait 
because there are some things I need to show you. What happens on virtual uh, machine here, VMware, and what can I do about the resolution? Arch Linux is tuned like it has all its packages for VirtualBox. This is not VirtualBox, this is VMware, a paid software. It's gonna be a little bit different and there's always a solution and that's why this video is here. And this is the problem. I mean, it's not a problem per se if you know what to do. It's a bit too small, right? So in VirtualBox, it discovers everything. It says, oh yeah, I have a bigger screen. So let's go and have a bigger display. So this is the reference now. I have 1920 on 1080, but it's not in here. So I cannot select it. So the only thing I can do is get to 1680 on 1050 and apply it. And that's gonna help me a lot, right? So we have a normal window and you can make this now full screen. This is the time to make it full screen. And you can drag this any way you want until you can read it. And let's go and install this system. So that's the first tip, how to get it to the proper resolution. Erase disk. These are my proper, I my, my personal settings. You use your own settings. Let's wait for the installation and pause the video. All right, everything is installed. Let's restart now. Done. Rebooting. Now VMware is um, going to get rid of the ISO altogether. Oh yeah, good tip. When you press Ctrl Alt, you get your mouse back because you just need to hard reboot it here. Say stop and restart. Now I haven't done anything about the ISO, but like you see, the ISO is out. Now when you get uh, back into, well, the installation, then you get again this small, 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 very small window. But don't stay there. Like I said, Arch Linux is not tuned, will never be tuned for, for VMware, but there is a quick and easy solution to make it uh, workable. And it's always the case with knowledge. Once you know, it's easy. Just takes the time to do it. Don't want to know that anymore. So again, 800 and 600, if you can make it, if you want to make it already a little bit more pleasing, you can by just doing the same thing that we've done, which is this thing, I think it was. You can make this go away and then you have a workable environment, but there is something more you can do. So you can get the full 1920 on 1080, what I normally have. You go to termite and you say sudo pacman minus s open something. If you can remember that, open something. Open VM tools. The other way I remembered is by typing yay VMware. And you see it also very quickly that there is something in the community. Open VM tools, right? So let's do this one. This is open now and you install all this stuff. Now what the installation does not mention to you is that you need to do something. They don't say start the system CTL, etc. So you need to just smell that. So system CTL, enable, what should we enable? Something with starting with a V maybe, VMware. Okay, VM tools, T service, what's this? This looks cool. Then we reboot. Really 
I think I forgot one thing to do, but never mind, we'll do it later. So I want to get back out of full screen. Control Alt it was to get my mouse to get this thing a little bit bigger again. And what we need to check out here is the auto size that he is going to use out of fit guest, not the center guest, but out of fit guest. Now it depends. We'll see what else is gonna do. Sometimes you have to help him. But in this case, luckily for me, in this video, everything is full size. This is 1920 on 1080. I wonder if actually we can read it now. I haven't checked prior. Okay, so this is great. This is my normal resolution. Another thing we've put on our system, on all our systems, is the application XRender, just so you know because XRender gives you all the possibilities and all the frequencies and all that so you can set it. We have already i3, BSP, awesome, XMonad. We have four tiling window managers and these guys, well, you need from time to time to go and dive into your settings and then you need this application XRender. But we've just decided to put it on all of them because it's so useful to check it out and to change elements. If, if a screen resolution is not correct, you can always set it with XRender. But there you go. So that's the trick. And um, now it's up to you and you can go and have a look at uh, Arco Linux in a VMware machine. Haven't really looked at the name it says here. Okay, VMware SVGA2 adapter is the name that it has now. All right, enjoy VMware.